Hey guys, it's Janice. So I'm around two and a half weeks away from leaving to London to study at UCL and I've just been doing a lot of prepping the last few weeks. So I've been buying a lot of stationery and I've also been trying to work out like what sort of note-taking system I'll use because obviously law school is going to be a lot different and I'm completely new to this. But I've done a lot and a lot of preparation so I thought this video would just be me summarizing everything I've prepped for law school so far. So like um, what stationery I'm going to use and like my note taking method as I said so I'm just going to show you guys all of that in this video but please if you're also studying law and you're also going to UCL then I'd love to talk to you too so you can hop on my personal Instagram to talk to me or you can leave a comment down below and talk to me about how to prep for law school because I am so lost so I just went stationery shopping the last week and here's what I've got so far so I'm using a lot of Muji stuff because I really love the whole minimalistic look of Muji and like it's pretty high quality. So the pen I'm using for most of my notes is going to be this black Muji pen. I've been using like blue pens for note taking my whole life but I just thought I'd try black because I like how black looks. And for my correction tape I'll be using this one. I don't remember where it's from but it's just basically the same thing that I used in high school. So those are like the basics. And I just went to Muji and got a bunch of like highlighters and pens and this is going to be what I'm going to be using for note taking. Okay, so the matte liners aren't from Muji but I just put them in the same bag. But basically here are the few colors that I'll be using and I'll show you guys how I'm note taking so far. And um, these four pens are going to be the like color pens I'm going to be using in my note taking system. And this is all a bit new because I've... In high school, I was using these few colors, so like these sort of like bit most basic colors, and I'm, I was also using like these pens from, I don't know, from Bic. But yeah, this collection of stuff is what I was using in high school, so I thought that was nice, but then I wanted to sort of change it up for um, uni, so this is not what I'm going to be using, and I'm going to be changing into this stuff over here, so I'm pretty excited. And this notebook over here is what I'm going to be using for my planner, like bullet journal for the next year. And this is not the type of notebook I was using before. Before I was using like the Dot Grid Muji notebook, but I couldn't find it anymore. It's not in stock, so I'm just going to be using this one. So I just bought it for 2019. And then I bought a bunch of paper, so this is all the paper I'll be using. It's also from Muji because... Muji is a bit cheaper than the other brands we have in Hong Kong and I'll just show you guys what my note taking has been like so far so I'm also using binders this year for law because I realized that we have a lot of notes and we also have a lot of stuff to print out like cases and so on so I think a binder would be the best option for me because a notebook would not allow me to put the cases inside and so like so I just got a binder and I haven't exactly set it up yet it's just sort of sort of messy right now because for UCL they sent us a lot of preliminary reading and I've been reading that and taking notes so I put all my notes in this binder and this is just all the notes I've been taking but I haven't actually sorted it out yet because I won't be able to do that until we really start our courses in September so this is just like the prep stuff I've been doing okay but basically the first sheet over here is uh, where I keep little notes so like this sticky note is my highlighting key because so far I've decided that I'm gonna highlight all the statutes in orange and all the cases in green so that's the little index I have so far and over here I have a little note telling myself to research what is it neutral citations which is obviously so much fun yay so the note-taking system is sort of similar to when I was in high school because this was before I bought all my new stationery but yeah so I just have a very similar system to what I did when I was in high school maybe I'll do a more like comprehensive video about this later on but yeah so this is some notes about the English legal system and because I am NOT English so I don't know anything and this little piece of paper here is benefits of having House of Lords so basically like I said I grew up in Hong Kong and I have next to no knowledge of the English legal system so I just have a lot of basic stuff here this is an extra piece of information that was not part of the UCL syllabus, but then I just googled it by myself because I honestly don't know anything. But yeah, some more notes. And the pink is for headings. As I said, I highlight all the cases in green and all the statutes in orange. 
But yeah, that's all I've been doing so far. And more notes, more notes, more notes. Yep, there's a lot of preliminary reading, as you can tell. As for books, these are the two books I've been reading for law school. And both of these books are seriously so good, so I really recommend them to anyone who's prepping for law school. So first one is Letters to a Law Student. And this is basically from a Cambridge professor, I think. And it just gives you all the basics for law school, like how to prep for like your interviews and stuff. And also once you get into law school, how to study cases, how to study um, for writing essays and so on. And it has all the good tips for studying. So I really enjoyed this book. And it's not very hard to read, so it was fun. And this second book is sort of like a very, very mini textbook. So basically it covers um, the basic law subjects. So it has contract, property, constitutional law, tort, all of that stuff. And it gives you like one case for each subject. And through that case, you'll sort of learn more about what the subject is about. And so I found it really interesting, especially like land law was really interesting. Tort was really interesting. And yeah, it just gives you a sort of basic overview of every single subject you'll study in law school. And this is great because now I feel like I know a little bit more stuff and I don't feel so lost. But yeah, these books are so good. And as I said, this is for study tips and this is for the actual legal content. So yeah, that's all the prep I've done so far. And if you have any other tips for me or whatever, please leave me a comment. And also we can share in this experience together. So thanks for watching my videos and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!